What is up YouTube? So right now, uh, if you've noticed the angle kind of looks weird and maybe I'm using a different camera, that is because I am. I'm actually using my iPhone right now. I'm filming on 4K and today I just wanted to do uh, more of like a quick, more fun video because I've been doing very like intensive. Like, um, just trying to make this like a light video. I also wanted to know how the 4K would look from my phone and uh, if you could use this for your YouTube channel because I always get asked like, you know, I want to start a YouTube channel but I don't have a nice camera. And I've always heard that you can start your YouTube channel with an iPhone. So I'm filming today's entire video on an iPhone using their 4K. So Apple, I'm putting your 4K to the test. But yeah, I just, uh, why not? You know, I mean, we're carrying our phones all the time and I'm sure there's some downsides. Like right now, I can't even see the screen because the rear camera is better than the front camera. So I'm trying to get the most resolution I can. So I'm using the rear, rear camera right now. So I really can't even see my face or like if it's still recording, hopefully it's still recording. Um, I also have a mic attached, which is really cool. Get I can get you know better audio so it doesn't sound like shit. But yeah, so basically, um, we're gonna figure out. I have the same exact setup I would normally have, just the only thing that's different is my camera. So what I'm probably gonna do, well, you've already seen this test footage. Uh, I'm gonna go outside, film some B-roll. So I'm gonna tell you what you need if you use your phone. Um, just to see if it's possible and just to help you guys out with starting up So let's do this thing. All right guys So one of the first things you're gonna need is a tripod you can get an Amazon basics tripod for about 16 17 dollars uh, They're pretty cheap. Um, the next thing you're gonna need is a lightning adapter if you have an iPhone 7 or up However, if you have an Android I'm pretty sure most Androids still have the headphone jack. You don't need the lightning adapter. And of course, you're gonna need your lav mic. Uh, the thing with a lav mic though, that you have to be very, very attentive to uh, is the, the jack that you actually plug into your phone or lightning adapter or your camera. Um, the thing is, is most microphone uh, jacks, they have like two black rings and you wanna make sure that this one has three. Uh, it's a different type of connector and so if you find out that your microphone isn't compatible with your phone, that's probably because it only has two rings instead of the three black rings, and that's very important. You're also gonna need a phone holder, uh, of, of course, just to you know twist onto your tripod and mount your phone onto, so you can actually get some you know, steady shots on your tripod. All right guys, sum up this video. So as far as I can tell, the footage looks really good. I'm pretty impressed, especially coming from an iPhone. Like that's pretty wild. Um, I also just want to tell you, like think about the money you could save. Like if you do want to buy a camera, just think about the money you can save when you just start out with your phone. Cause this right here was about $820 altogether. The lens is 300. Camera body was like 500 and this microphone is like 20. All right, to sum that up, so this this whole setup, this whole setup right here is about $820. And it's actually pretty cheap considering, you know, the quality you can get out of it. But as far as an iPhone goes, well, the base model of this iPhone is 399. So with that being said, okay, I'm not saying you should just buy this iPhone to do YouTube, but if you need a phone and you already have a phone anyway, and it can shoot footage like this, all you need is this lab mic, which is like 12 bucks. You need a phone holder that you can screw on top of your tripod, which is probably like, I don't know, 10 bucks. And then you don't need the exact tripod I have. It's designed to handle like heavier cameras. You can just get like an Amazon Basics tripod. You're saving a good bit of money. Like if you want to save up for a nice camera, you can just film on your phone for a while and it'll still work. I'm not saying it's better than a camera. To be honest, I would prefer having a camera more even though it can't film 4K. For just being a phone and just functioning you know, that way and having this nice of a camera on it, 
I'm pretty impressed. So it's definitely doable. Uh, you can definitely do this with just, you know, a few pieces of gear, but the quality is good. You can get really good sound quality and you can get really good video. Uh, I would actually, I would actually recommend starting your, your YouTube channel on an iPhone because that way you don't invest in a lot of money in camera gear that you might not use. And if your channel takes off you, and you want to get a camera, you can be like, you know what? Yeah, I'm totally going to do that now. But if you're just, you know, on the fence deciding about it, an iPhone is a very good piece of equipment to start with. I highly recommend it. Also, the 4K looks pretty darn good. Again, this is a phone. Like, my, my camera doesn't even have 4K in it. Good job, Apple. All right, guys, this was a really quick, short little video. I, I, ho I hope it was fun. Like, I didn't want it to be, like, super, like, grr, but I do get questions all the time. Um, about people asking um, if they can use their phone as like, you know, a YouTube camera and you totally can. You're all set to go. But all right, guys, um, this is the end of the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or inquiries, comment down below. See you later.